Imagine if you saw this monstrosity when you wake up. This is a quasi-star, the largest type of black hole. Star in the universe. How are quasi-stars formed? What makes them big? How big are they? How hot are they? This is Zephaniah's learning review. And in today's video we are going to talk about what are quasi-stars? Quasi-stars are a type of those stars. They are not in the solar system but are lurking in the Milky Way. Quasi-stars are yellow hypergiants which get up to a maximum of 9,700 c 10,000 k and a minimum of 3,730 Celsius for 1,000 k. This is the Earth, currently the planet we live on and the only habitable planet at 13,000 kilometers in diameter. This is the Sun, the star at the middle of the solar system and the star that keeps our solar system together with a diameter of 1.4 million kilometers, 865,000 miles in diameter. This is Stevenson to 218, the largest star found with a diameter of approximately 2 billion kilometers, almost 1.2 billion miles. It is a hypermassive red giant and is 19,570 light years away from Earth. We cannot see it because of space debris and dust. We can see its base and size though. Fun fact, there are different types of stars such as blue stars, red stars, white stars, orange stars, and yellow stars. This is the average size of a quasi-star. The usual color is yellow but can be red or orange as well. Quasi-stars can be smaller or bigger than these supermassive giants, but the largest is thrice the size of Stevenson to 1.8. Quasi-stars are hypothetical hyper-giants because they have not been seen properly but have been spotted. The usual size for a quasi-star is 10 billion kilometers, 6.2 billion miles approximately. White or blue quasi-stars are quite rare and maybe not even possible. The solar flares of a quasi-star are so big and powerful even the Earth's magnetic field would not survive a quasi-star's solar flare. Quasi-stars provide so much light that even if they were one light years away away your night sky would be a little brighter. If you do not know how big the size of a quasi-star is then if you replace the sun with a quasi-star it would consume all the planets until the Cooper belt for the least but for the most it would consume everything until the Oort cloud or almost the whole solar system. Black holes suck up everything and destroy everything in their path. They can meet anything even quasi-stars. More info about black holes will be in my next video. There are always black holes at the center of quasi-stars, giving them energy, heat, power, radiation and brightness, they are usually supermassive. Usually, when a massive star blows up a supernova happens and turns into a black hole after some time right. But sometimes stars are so big that they can be hypergen sand when they go supernovae. Black hole forms, but the outer layer is so thick, radioactive and hot that it surrounds around them. Black hole and covers it looking like a star. And after some time that forms into a quasi-star, AK black hole star, the black hole at the center of the quasi star, consumes the star slowly, shrinking it, until there is only a black hole left, consuming everything. Though we are lucky quasi stars do not exist to this day, and even if they did they would be billions of light years away from the solar system. Quasi stars, and extinct in the beginning of the universe, but what if they still existed and a quasi star was to come in our solar system? Well that is for another Zephaniah's learning review video. If you enjoyed this video then please consider subscribing to this channel because it helps out a lot and if you do not want to miss out on more content like this then hit the bell. Bye.